Here we have example three. Let P of W equal to W to the power of four. Find all stationary points and classify them. So first things first, we're going to determine the first derivative. So P prime of W is going to be the derivative of W to the power of four, which is four W cubed. Okay, so next step, we're going to set this first derivative equal to zero, and we're going to solve for our W values. So W cubed is going to be equal to zero, and this only happens when W is equal to zero. So this is our critical W value. Next, we're going to determine the associated vertical values for our P value for the critical W values. So I'm going to take my original equation, P of W is equal to W to the power of four, and I'm going to substitute W is equal to zero into it. So I get zero to the power of four. And this is simply going to give me P equal to zero. So now I know that I have a critical coordinate at zero comma zero. My W value is zero and my P value is zero at the critical point. So now that the critical point has been found, we're ready to classify it. So I'm going to determine the second derivative for P. So I'm going to take the derivative of my first derivative. So the derivative of four W cubed is 12 W squared. So I've determined that, I'm ready for step five, and that is the second derivative test. This is determining this value of the second derivative when W is equal to zero at the critical W value. So I substitute P double prime of W when W is equal to zero, I get 12 times zero squared. That's gonna give me zero as well. Okay, so this time we have an inconclusive second derivative test. When our second derivative is equal to zero, or alternatively, it, it's non-existent, it can't be calculated, um, we have an inconclusive second derivative test. We don't know what type of point it is. It could be a min, it could be a max, or it could be a saddle point. So to, to go forward, what we're going to do is we are going to do the first derivative test. What we're going to do here is we're going to recognize where our critical point is. This was a scale of W's. We know that when W is equal to zero, we have our critical point. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose a point somewhere that's greater than W is equal to zero and somewhere that's lower than W is equal to zero. So here we might choose W is equal to negative one and here we'll choose W is equal to positive one. And what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the first derivative. Calculate that first derivative on either side of, those critical, of this critical value W is equal to zero. So here at W is equal to negative one, I'm going to take my first derivative equation and I'm going to calculate what that slope is. So I have P prime of W is equal to negative one is going to give me four times negative one cubed, which is going to give me negative four. So what this is telling me is at this point, I have a negative slope at this point area here, I have a negative slope. Now what I'm going to do here for W is equal to one, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to have P prime for the slope equation of positive one is going to be equal to four times one cubed. And this is going to give me positive four. So what this tells me is the slope in this region when W is above zero is positive. So I have a positive slope in this region. And I already determined that the slope is zero at W is equal to zero. So now what you can see is I can kind of connect the shape. And I know that I'm dealing with a minimum. The shape is like this because I have a negative slope below my critical value. The slope is zero at my critical value and the slope is positive above the critical value. 
And indeed, that's what I find when I look at the graph. We can see that this is a minimum here at 0, 0. So 0, 0, our critical point is a minimum. And that's the first derivative test, what we do when our second derivative test is inconclusive. So that's it for the classification of critical points. After you've done the knowledge checks on this, we're going to look at some applications of this, doing what we refer to as optimization.